220-acre complex of sporting facilities, to which the NBA is also very shortly headed. Espinosa. Cashier. Not a bad effort from a man who's never scored for the club. You take any notes? In terms of what? What are you suggesting? Just a leader taking the group out for a dinner. That's Espinosa. San Jose has been the dominant team so far. 24 minutes in, and a lot of it is down this right side with Espinoza coming inside. And then Erickson interchanging, Thompson overlap. Erickson. <laughs> himself the angle and pushed aside by Fry. And Stefan Fry's had to come up with a couple of saves here, but a lot of this is a central midfield problem for the Seattle Sounders. They are pinned too deep in front of the two center backs, so it's just minutes in. Because all it comes down to is combination play. Here you go. At the other end, it's rolled down. Oh. And still we don't have a first half goal in this tournament. But that's the thing. In the blink of an eye, you can... You know, when you haven't gotten your match fitness, Thierry Henry said this, speaking of banter a couple days ago, just said that the best way to... Oh, good hit from Erickson. But the best way to play yourself into fitness is with the ball, not without it. Which was a little surprising last night to see Montreal defend for all say who narrowly missed out on the playoffs last year finished eight in the west four points short they were in contention until the final day mixed bag of a season losing start a meaty middle and then six consecutive defeats saw them tail away just when it mattered most Rui Diaz Ladero. And now here's Roldan. And Roldan getting real power behind that left footed effort. In their defensive shape, if you're attacking with 4 5, and your defensive 4 5 shape is separated, so now it gives you space to get forward. Christian Roldan making about a 65 70 yard run to find that space. Good hit, but a simple save for Daniel Vega. Good view from our target goalpost. Maybe that's the old center forward in me, John, but from, <laughs> from my perspective, I think Rui Diaz is absolutely 100% correct to be upset with that. Yeah. Now, whether or not the challenge was in the box, I mean, that's the other issue, that's isn't the it? <laughs> Oh, what a touch. Jones. In towards Rui Diaz. And all of a sudden, there's a little bit more activity from Rui Diaz, isn't there, John? But this is Seattle in so many ways, isn't it? They can't. It's just what Schmetzer has done. But you're right. When you look at the numbers, nothing really stands out. You know, just looking at their center back pairings over the last two years. Kazaishvili. Here's you. Well struck and deflected too, which demanded the save from Fry. I think he's injured himself in the process. He's clutching his left thigh. But John, to finish that thought on center back parents in Seattle, you always have to enjoy him while we can at the ripe old age of 37. Uh, Stefano, I think, has had a word or two with him. I have, and you know, it's a little bit of insight on what these players are doing on their downtime here in the bubble. I spoke to Chris Wondolowski, and he told me that he is heading up these high-stakes dart games for his teammates, and he told me that they're acting like the European dart game crowds that get so rowdy over uh, uh, across the pond, and he said also that he really hopes that they don't have any noise complaints, because they're being kind of loud in their players' lounge. Have you watched darts in Europe, Taylor? 
Have I watched darts? Watched darts, yes. No, I rather rearrange my sock drawer. It's your sort of thing. You, you have, as you play darts, you have to drink alcohol at the same time. Oh, it's compulsory. It's 21, born in Hawaii. And Seattle could be in here. Vega getting his angles right at the near post. Reconfigured after with the withdrawal of both Nashville and Dallas from this tournament. Leerdam and Rui Diaz with the chance. And so often he's taken those before. They're saying a hand was used. Ball is behind anyway for a goal kick. This is Russ, John. This is lack of game fitness. When you hear people talking about game fitness, match fitness, sharpness, it's this. Rui Diaz hits that first time. Any other time in, in the season, he's hitting that first time. And that's the referee calling the handball there. But this is normally hit first time inside the left foot. Keeper can't really adjust to that. But that one touch allows the keeper and the defender to play a part. Three group stage fixtures for each team. Round of 16, quarters, semis, and final on the 11th of August. Seattle still intends on winning this late in the game. Hope you out. Svensson. Ladero. Plenty of saves himself, don't get me wrong, but that's just the way San Jose plays. I, all in all, you're 100% correct. Christian Roldan. Because I didn't think with D Danny Houston saying 48 hours ago that they had a wrinkle in them, they haven't been completely together. There was going to be a wrinkle the way they played. No way. They yeah. just played 99 plus minutes. The only way they know how to play man to man, and it made it difficult for Seattle. And they might still win it. Ariaga behind. And Fierro going to retrieve the ball in the hope they can squeeze in this corner before the full time whistle. Fans on the Jumbotron still fully engaged, those Quakes fans. Ericsson's kick. And it fell to Cade Cowell, who couldn't control it instantly. And that is the final act of this game between Seattle and San Jose, which Taylor ends goalless. First game of the tournament that we've had more than 25 shots. So while it had some of that, we've also seen some injuries. We've seen some fitness concerns. But all in all, I think San Jose was the better team. Yet Seattle had their chances. But the Heineken man of the match, Stefan Fry. Now, I do think there's a good argument that Daniel Vega could make that his two saves on Rui Diaz should be in consideration. But San Jose had more shots. Stefan Fry was called upon in critical moments. Uh, but a hard-earned point for San Jose and Seattle. But I think San Jose, out of the two teams, will take the positive out of this. After a four-month break, 125 days, your first competitive game, pretty good showing from the Earthquakes. Well, it was enjoyable, despite the lack of goals. This tournament coming to life, four games down, 47 to go, and three of them on Sunday.